This man, they are fighting this money. See him out, see him out. That's my man. too many for what? Two for one more. That's why too many for what? Two for one. That's why for no go fit that for more. That's why they fit us. Stop that up. They don't say no offer. What two say now? Speak a say now. Presently, where we are now. So we were here waiting for our governor to come. Why the PDP councillor and others, they, they, formed, they, they just called themselves. They said that the speaker sent them that they should come and chase us away from here, that we should go to our secretariat, that we don't have right to do anything anywhere. I, I was trying to picture, fi, uh, film what is going on. The councillor just come, say, want to take my phone. I told him, I, I we mate, he just gripped me and hit me twice. And this is the result here. Well, you know, the candle call Nigeria a zoo. Many persons were very angry with her for calling Nigeria a zoo. But when you look at what is happening in Nigeria and the way people behave, some persons behave in Nigeria, you agree with him that Nigeria is indeed a zoological republic. Because I don't understand how some persons in this country behave like animals. I don't understand. Elections are being conducted everywhere in the whole world. I want you to tell me. Where have you seen an election that is being conducted the way election is being conducted in this country? Where have you seen an election being conducted in a violent manner the way election is being conducted in this country? Just recently, just yesterday, UK conducted her election and everywhere was peaceful. Most Nigerians voted in that election and they gave account of what happened when they went to vote. Everything was calm, peaceful, no delay, no violence, no gunshot. They quietly went to their polling booth, cast their vote, quietly went home. None of them was harassed. None of them was asked, where did you come from? None was told, go back to your region and vote. Everything was peaceful. Sanity. They behave like human beings that have brains. Maybe you will say I'm talking about UK. Alright, UK is a civilized country. That's what you want to say. That means we were uncivilized people. What about South Africa? They conducted the election recently, peacefully, no gunshot, nobody was killed, nobody was harassed. Elections results declared and the winner announced, peacefully. South Africa is civilized, right? What about Kenya? We saw what happened in Kenya the other time. Election, peaceful election. Nobody was harassed, nobody was insulted, nobody was killed. Why will Nigeria own be always different? Why do we see election as a period to unleash violence on innocent people? Why do we see election in this country, politics in this country, as a do or die affair? Why do we behave like uncivilized people? Sometimes I'm ashamed to be identified as Nigerians because the attitude of people in this country scare the hair out of me. It's only in Nigeria that an executive governor will unleash terror on people, on opponents that are campaigning because he has the executive power. It's only in Nigeria that you will see an executive governor will stop other opponents from campaigning in the state. Election was supposed to be a level playing, playing ground. Everybody should be given the same level of support. This is how progressive society behaves. Not the way we behave in this country. You see the way you see the way we are doing. That's the reason why we are not progressing as a nation. Because you cannot cheat nature. Nature respect principle. For you to succeed as a person, as an individual, as an organization, as a country, you must follow the pattern and order of nature. You must follow the principles of nature. Nigeria is not progressing because we don't follow the pattern and principles of nature. We in indulge ourselves in every negative tendency that nature abhors. Election is not a do or die affair. If you've done well for the people, they will vote for you. 
Intimidating and harassing people will not stop them from voting who they want to vote for. It will not even make them to vote for you. I don't know why Nigerian politicians will not learn from history. Allow people to do what they want to do. It's called democracy. People need to choose who they want to represent them. That is the beauty of democracy. It is not your duty to force them to vote for you. They will vote for someone they believe in. They will vote for someone they believe in his leadership quality. This whole violence is unnecessary. And to every one of you out there, don't be used as a tool by politicians. If they want to carry out any election violence, they should bring in their keys. Those of you that are being hired by these politicians to unleash mayhem on people that are campaigning for other candidates, look around you. Did you see the keys of these politicians around you? No. Why? Because they know that what you are doing is wrong. They will not allow their keys to do it. Why then will you make yourself available to be used by these people to unleash mayhem? Why will you make yourself available to be used by these people to, to orchestrate violence? You are disturbing the peace of the society. You are destroying your country. Whatever money they paid you, if violence or call and you are caught in the crossfire, that money will not save you. If you say no to act of violence, these politicians will not carry out violence. The reason why we are having violence across the country during the election period is because some persons make themselves available to be used by politicians to orchestrate violence. We need peace in Nigeria. Are you happy the way Nigeria is? Are you happy with the level of criminality in Nigeria? Are you happy with the backwardness this country is going through? Rather than fighting your fellow humans, why not use an opportunity and fight these politicians? The people you are attacking on the campaign ground, are they responsible for your joblessness? Are they responsible for the insecurity in the land? Are they the ones that are looting the money? If you have so much strength, if you have weapon to fight, why not use that same weapon to fight these politicians that are looting the treasury dry? Why not use the time you are using to fight your fellow human beings to fight these politicians that have destroyed this country? Of what gain are you going to gain if you mend your fellow human being? The same fellow human being that is crying for a better future in this country. Look at what happened during the SARS period. Some persons went out to protest against police brutality. We all know that police brutalizes people in this country. We all know that police intimidate people in this country. But some persons stage a counter protest and disrupt that protest. If the police is being reformed, it will benefit every one of us. If a better candidate is, is elected in Kogi state, in Edo state, it will benefit everyone in Edo state. Why are you trying to disrupt the process of electing a better candidate in Edo state? Of what benefit will that bring to you? Answer me of what benefit will that bring to you? Why must you be made available to be used to cause destruction in your own land? We are talking about patriotism. Even if you are not patriotic to your country, Nigeria, at least for conscience sake, for nature's sake, for God's sake, be patriotic to your fellow human being. The same person that is suffering the plight of bad governance in this country, be patriotic to them. Look at them. Do they live in a normal life? The same life, the same pain you are going through, they are also going through the same pain. The politicians you are fighting for, they are not going through that same pain. Their kids are not going through that same pain. Their kids are abroad, schooling. Where is Obaseke's son? Where is Obaseke's daughter? Where is Obaseke? Where is? Have you ever seen any relative of, of, of Obaseke on the street? They are enjoying government money. Whereas you, you're on the street fighting for him. Have sense. Think. Think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.